Welcome to Mark Gibson's Human Risk Channel. Accountant with the Simation CPA, MBA, CMA, ACPA, ASA, Australia. Enjoy learning! So today, we'll discuss about process costing. Um, basically, class, process costing is similar to your job order costing. And um, uh, at this stage, you've already completed your um, session on job order costing. No? So uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was shared during the first week or if not... Uh, uh, during the second week of our class no so uh, in in process in in job order costing basically we're we're just dealing with one product and that's it no but in process costing we're dealing with uh, one or two or or more products of the same kind no so yun lang naman ng process costing kasi um Siguro bigay tayo example no for example you you are processing um textile no so using the textile you can um you can manufacture a bag or kung backpack man yan or uh, wallet no so kung napapansin mo isa yung material na ginagamit but then you can you'll be able to convert it into different products no but tandaan in process costing um ang pinaka pinabantayan natin dito is yung work in process inventory kasi remember in in uh in process costing ang ideal ang idea dito is marami tayong work in process inventory kasi per department uh meron tayong ina-account no so in in process in in job order costing kasi kung naalala nyo, isa lang so you have your work in process inventory and that's it no but then in in process costing for each department we'll need to uh, check on the work in process inventory paano ba yan um, for example syempre yung yung textile diba pagdating sa yun raw materials mo textile of course you have to cut it so there's the cutting department you have to saw it and then there, there's the sewing uh, sewing department what else then after sewing siguro uh, you have to do some quality control no uh, but quality control is really not a uh, direct labor eh, no? so let me think of another department siguro uh, uh, siguro packaging no? so uh, so once they they saw it eh, they have to package it now no so those are the different uh, processes no along uh, that we have to account for in uh, in process costing and in process costing uh, we have two uh, methods no as you know we have fifo and weighted average but later on we'll discuss all of that in a problem no? so let me just so process costing this is a cost accumulated procedures materials labor and overhead so under process costing costs are accumulated per manufacturing process this accumulation system is more applicable to companies that manufactures homogeneous you know pag sinabi natin homogeneous of the same kind no that are manufacturers at the same sequence of processes or continuous flow pro production method no now there are uh, T accounts below. So, meron sinasabi tayo dyan, work in process department 1, work in process department 2, and finally, work in process department 3. Parang sinasabi dyan, class, um, there are three departments here before we actually convert a material, a raw material, into finished goods. No? So, gaya ng example natin kanina, meron tayong cutting department, sewing department, and then finally, packaging department. No, no? So, uh, after we were able to pass the raw materials to uh, cutting, to sewing, and then finally to packaging, dun palang siya lalabas as finished goods. No? Uh, in fact, I have, let me share my screen. So, by, by the way, class, in, in all my classes, I use Excel file, as you know, no? as my Blackboard. No? So, since we're doing it online, uh, I made sure that I'll, be, I'll still be able to manage to illustrate or uh, illustrate some some of the concepts no using microsoft excel no? so let me oh, sige. so before we do this no let me 
just have an illustration para lang mas ma-appreciate nyo yung uh, uh, process costing. So, di ba kanina ang example natin, uh, bag. No? So, we have the textile. Uh, we move it to the cutting department. Siyempre, meron ka mga patterns dyan. Eh. So, you have to um, you have to cut it and then finally, Siyempre, after mo makat, lipat mo na naman siya dun sa kabilang department. Yun ay magtatahe. No? So, you have the sewing department. And finally, after the sewing department, lipat mo na dun sa department na magpa-package. No? So, uh, sabi natin na yung mga bags pala is uh, for, in, for import. No? Or the, uh, for export. The, they have to, to package it. And the, finally, yun, there's the fi finished goods inventory. No? Now, pag, para lang mas ma-appreciate mo, Pag-usapan natin, kasi bag, baka mamaya masyadong hindi mo pa ma-gets yun. Eh, no? Pag-usapan natin yung potato. Oh, so, I'm, I'm sure, gaya ko, marami sa inyo yung favorite ng piatos. No? So, para lang, para lang ma, uh, mas, ano to, mas maintindihan yung concept ng process costing at mas ma-appreciate yung process costing. Kasi process costing, in fact, class, uh, is one of the, sabi natin, uh, one of the complex topics in cost accounting. You know? Well, the reason being is that ang, ang, ang students kasi, they have the tendency to just memorize it. No? Kaya ang ginagawa natin ngayon is pinapa-appreciate natin sa inyo yung concept. At least, um, you'll be able to understand it well. Para at least, pag nire-review mo na, ah, ganito pala yun, no? So, hindi pala talaga siya dapat memorize. So, para lang mas ma-appreciate pa. So, we have the accounts here no so ang pinag-uusapan natin dito remember piatos ha so kung hindi mo alam yung piatos ewan ko na lang so of course ang raw materials natin para makapag-create ng piatos is patatas di ba so meron ka patatas as your direct material of course this is uh, raw materials uh, inventory mo no so kinikredit mo yan kasi nga yan na yung raw materials used, di ba? Tama naman yan. So, when you, when you purchase raw materials, it's debit to, to your raw materials inventory. Now, when you're going to use it, of course, you have to credit the uh, direct materials or raw materials, no? I just put in DM here. This is direct material, but actually, I'm talking about the potato. Of course, ang next department natin is cutting department, no? Cutting department, work in process. So, Imagine na, yung raw materials mo, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is yung T-account ng work in process. Ha? So, imagine yung patatas, nilipat na sa'yo. So, meron ka ngayon debit patatas and of course, yung mga conversion cost mo. So, syempre, meron kang, meron kang direct labor, yung maghihiwa. Uh, ano bang pwede natin indirect, indirect labor siguro? Yung mga... Uh, Ano pa bang pwede natin dito? Siguro yung ano lang, uh, electricity or, or what, no? So, pwede natin siya ipasok sa indirect um, uh, at the factory overhead, no? Kasi di ba uh, conversion cost natin para lang at uh, least as a review, ito yung uh, indirect labor, a uh, direct labor and conversion cost, no? So, of course, di ba, syempre hiniwa na. Ngayon, ililipat mo yan. No? Siyempre, hindi naman mag-stay sa'yo yung hiniwa. Hindi, hindi siya magiging piatos kung hiwa lang yung patatas. No? So, of course, ang kailangan mong gawin dyan is to transfer it to the next department. Ayun na nga, ang next department is cooking department 2. Pero lagay natin department 2, which is actually the cooking department. No? So, imagine class, ha? ano na ngayon yung mga nailagay natin kay cutting department. Of course, di ba? Yung patatas na kinuha natin from the raw materials, eh, ilalagay na rin natin yung cost ng mga naghiwa and other costs, no? indirect labor and other uh, fa factory overhead. So meaning, yung total manufacturing cost involved in the cutting department will be will now be included as part of the product. No? Kaya yan yung nalalagay natin na transferred out so, kasi transferred out, aalisin na siya sa cutting department. Kaya nakalagay siya credit transferred out. Pero ano ba yung involved ulit sa transferred out na to? Ito na yung patatas na hiwa. Okay? So, ngayon, pansinin mo, yung patatas na hiwa, i-accept ngayon ni cooking department 2. So, papasok siya as transferred in. Tandaan, itong transferred in na to class, 
eh yan yung galing dito kay cutting department. So yung transferred out niya, syempre, kung sino yung mag-accept, siya naman yung magiging transferred in. Okay? O sige, pag-usapan naman natin tong si cooking department too. O meron ka ng hiwa-hiwang uh, patatas. O ano naman yung mga idadagdag mo na direct material? Ayun, oil. Syempre, hindi ka makapagluto without the oil. Eh, baka sabihin mo pa sa akin, sir, binibake yan. O di sige, kung ano man yung direct materials na pwede mong ilagay doon. No? Plus, yung conversion cost ulit. So, cost na nagluto and other cost. No? Other uh, manufacturing cost to cook the patatas. No? O sige, imaginein mo, naluto na yung piatos. So, meron ka ng piatos, eh pwede ba yung dakot-dakot lang? Siyempre, class, hindi naman tayo bumibili ng dakot-dakot lang, di ba? So, kailangan mo siya i-package. Kaya, lahat ito ngayon, lahat ng cost na na-generate sa pagluto ng piatos will now be transferred out. Transferred out papunta dun sa packaging department, which is yung department number three. Kaya uh, meron siya ulit dito, transferred in. Ano nga yung cost involved sa transferred in sa packaging department? So ito na yung mga transferred out from cooking department. Of course, pagdating dito ngayon kay uh, uh, packaging department, meron ka ng patatas na hiwa at luto na. Ha? Tandaan yan. Ha? So ima- ibig sabihin, yung palang cost na pumupunta kay work in process and ng the packaging department includes all the costs from cutting department and cooking department kasi class hindi ka naman pwedeng mag-package ng buong patatas kailangan hiwain talaga siya at hindi ka rin pwedeng uh, mag-package ng patatas na hindi luto na hiwa-hiwala imagine no pagbukas mo ng 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 piatos mo raw na patatas o ano na lang isipin mo di ba So plus I'm, I'm just exaggerating no but I hope you can see the point no Now in packaging department 3 so tandaan meron ka na dito ang transferred in ano nga ulit yung transferred in ito lahat yung cost na galing kay department 2 which includes all the costs para dun sa patatas na nahiwa and at the same time luto na okay So pagdating kay packaging department 3 of course uh, meron ka ulit mga Uh, ilalagay na cost dyan. So, uh, yun niya, yung, yung packaging materials. No? So, iba-ibang color ng, ng wrapping papers. Tama ba ito? Packaging, packaging uh, ng piatos. No? So, meron ka cheese, sour cream. Naku, mukhang magkikrave ka na ito after ng class natin. Mukhang may magpapiatos. Of course, in other, no? other, uh, other manufacturing cost. So, imaginein mo, buo na yung piatos Siyempre, ilalagay na natin siya sa finished goods, no? So you debit, uh, you credit cost of goods manufactured and debit to your finished goods. So ngayon, lahat ng cost na 'yan, pupunta na siya doon sa finished goods. Naintindihan ba 'to, class? Sige. So basically, class, in in process costing, we are accounting for each department. Kasi kung napansin mo, kay job order costing, eh, isa lang naman ang work in process dun eh. Then that's it, no? Isang work in process and then it's a, isang finished goods and that's it. Now, in process costing, we need to account for each department, no? So, each manufacturing process. So, that's why nag- nagkakaroon siya ng complexity. But still, it's web, like a... Like I said, it's it's the same, no? So you, you just have to understand the concept para lang at least hindi ka nagme-memorize whenever you're solving for process costing problems, no? So let me go back to Okay, so yan yun class, ha? Diniscuss ko lang siya in in more detail. So the journal entries under process costing. In fact, class, when we did the T account earlier, it's already uh, provided in there. No, so uh, when materials is used, eh, actually, ito naman class is really dependent on the uh, raw materials. No, in in our case for piatos, ang talagang na 
na debit lang doon is work in process cutting department no and then credit raw materials use no so really it is um case to case basis no so preparation of cost of production report the computation for the first month of operation is quite different if it is for subsequent months of operation the major difference between first and subsequent months of operation is that there's no beginning balances of any real accounts including the inventories uh, raw materials work in process and finished goods for subsequent months there will be beginning work in process which affects the computation of the cost no? so note there is no whip beginning in first year of operation pero uh, that's too basic naman eh. parang ganito lang yan class um, of course, di ba, sa accounting, we have to close the books, no? Hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin uh, kay, uh, kay supervisor mo, ops, uh, hindi ka pwedeng sabihin na supervisor, oh, hindi pa tapos yung pagluluto, so hindi ka pa pwedeng magsara ng libro. No? So, hindi gan I mean, accounting doesn't work like that. So, kaya meron tayong cut-off, and at the same time, meron tayong mga reporting, no? So, in fact, financial statements, we released it on a quarterly basis and annual basis. And in fact, uh, uh, that's only for um, government and other agencies reporting. No? Pero on a monthly basis, we're actually preparing financial statements and we submit it to uh, the management. No? So, as accountants, we make sure that uh, we're able to complete all the recordings Siyempre, kung hindi mo tapos lahat ng recordings, eh, it will impact your reports. No? So parang ganito rin yung sinasabi sa process costing. So imagine, um, oh, gaya niyan, September, ano ba ngayon? September 24. So by September 30th, you have to... Oh. So by September 30th, you have to close the books, no? So, eh, paano kung halimbawa uh, by September 30, eh, may niluluto pang uh, piatos. So, ibig sabihin, nandudong pa lang siya sa cooking department. So, ang kailangan lang naman natin gawin is i-account lahat ng nandudong sa cooking department, no? So, say by 12, uh, by uh, September 30, 5 p.m. So, yun lang yung operate, operating hours natin. No? So, assuming yun yung operating hours natin. So, by 5 p.m., whatever is in the cooking department, yun na yung i-record natin. So, pwedeng mangyari na walang papasok sa finished goods inventory mo. Possible yan, no? Kasi imagine, uh, raw materials dumating ng September 1. Hiniwa tapos ngayon niluto. By September 30, hindi na tapos yung pagluluto. So therefore, walang batch na pupunta sa finished goods. No? So again, that's an exaggeration, but at least um, uh, you'll be able to see the point. No? So if, kung ano yung naiwan doon sa mga work in process, i-account natin yun as, um, as it is. No? So wag mong wag parang wag, uh, wag mong kalabanin na o oh, bakit walang finish finished goods inventory. Well the very reason is that hindi nga natapos sa pag-process within the cooking department, no? But later on para mas maintindihan, we'll illustrate it in a problem. Okay, sige, let's have um, exercise problem 1. So it's process costing using FIFO and average method. Pagsabay na natin, no? Uh, let me read the requirements first. How much? Number one, how much is the cost of inventory transferred out of the cooking department? And number two, how much is the cost of goods manufactured? Number three, how much is the cost of work in process remaining in the cooking department and packing department respectively as of January 31, 2021. So let me read the problem. HDL company mass produces potato chips. Oh, ito nang pala. Para at least, ano, mas makarelate ka. Piatos pa rin ang pinag-uusapan natin. Using a process that involves two departments. So at least dito, cooking and packing lang. No? So wala yung, uh, ano ba na wala dito? Cutting. So baka naman ang supplier nila eh binibigay na ng cut no. 
parang parang ang Bakto or or Jollibee. Uh, ang hindi naman na sila nagka-cut doon eh. they, they have suppliers who provide them with pre-cut pre-cut potatoes, no? So they have to just cook it in uh, in the production, no? In fact, Jollibee has a commissary pala, no? So ito na. Materials are added at the beginning of the cooking process. Ito parang isa pang common sense common sense to class. Imagine na cooking department. Sinasabi sa iyo ng problem, materials are added at the beginning of the cooking process. O yun lang muna pag-usapan natin na cooking department ka nga eh. Kailan ba dapat nilalagay sa iyo yung materials? Of course. So in this case, kailan ba nilalagay sa iyo yung potatoes? Of course, at the beginning of the process. Kasi kung bi- kung walang ibilalagay sa iyo na potato at the beginning of the process, eh Diba? Anong sense? Wala kang iluluto. Diba? So, yun lang yun. Uh, while the materials are added at the midpoint of the packing process. O, yan. Later, i-discuss din natin yan. The cooking department accounts for its production using FIFO method, while the packing department uses weighted average method. The following information were available for the month of January 2021. So work in process January 1 uh, for cooking department is 60,000 units, 40% completed. And packing department, 40,000 and 90% completed. So it started in production, we have 150,000 units and it's unknown for packing department but later on we'll, uh, we'll go to that. Completed in production, 180,000 units for cooking department also unknown for packing department. Now, the work in process uh, ending, so January 31, no? work, percent of work remaining, ha? so take note of that. Kung dun sa beginning class, ang binigay sa atin is yung completed portion, in the ending inventory, what's provided is the work remaining. So meaning, ito pa yung to be complete. No? To be completed. Uh, so, 70% for cooking department and uh, 30% for packing department or 20,000 20, units. Now, what are the costs? No? Cost of beginning work in process. So, we have direct materials, conversion costs, and then transferred in. For packing department, we have 380,000, 513,600, and 834,000. Now, what are the current costs? Of course, Uh, you have the direct materials, conversion cost, and transferred in. No? Para mas maintindihan, pag-usapan muna natin yung problem using Excel, my Excel file. No? O sige, focus on this class. Ha? O sige, ito muna ang direct material. Of course, uh, meron tayong 100% palagi, no? So, kaya nilagyan ko siya dyan bar, 10 to 100%. No? Ang sinasabi kasi sa atin kay uh, direct materials, sabi ba diba, uh, materials are added at the beginning, at the beginning of the cooking process. Well, additional materials are added at the midpoint of the packaging process no so isa-isahin kasi natin ang pinag-uusapan pag-usapan muna natin is uh, beginning inventory no so yung beginning inventory ang sinasabi kasi is uh, nilalagay na siya beginning of the cooking process no so 40% pero may binabanggit din dito na 40% completed okay So kung 40% completed to, ilan na lang yung dapat na kompletuhin pa? So ayun, 60%, no? So kung yung sa beginning inventory mo, eh tapos na daw, parang ganito yan class, para lang mas ma-imagine mo. Dahil nga meron tayong cut off. Nagtapos to ng December 31, 2020. No? Hindi lahat na hindi lahat natapos sa pagluto. Parang ganun lang 'yan, no? So meron ka palang 
inventory na half cook lang or hindi lahat na iluto talaga half cook eh, no? hindi lahat na i-process eh nagkaroon ka na ng cut off therefore we're saying that that work work in process beginning inventory is only 40% completed no so therefore this coming uh, this this month so in this case january yung 60% yun yung kailangan na kailangan pang i-process no so tanda na 40% is already completed and then uh 60% will be completed this period. No? So when I say this period, yung pinag-uusapan natin dito is uh, January 2021. Eh, paano naman to, class? Meron kasi dyan, uh, completed in production. Of course, pag sinabing completed in production, it's 100%. No? Uh, it's already complete in its entirety. No? So it's 100% completed. Pag-usapan natin tong ending inventory. Pero ang, ang focus mo natin dito is direct material, ha? O, sige. Yung ending inventory, pansinin, sabi dito, it's 70% of work remaining. Kung 70% of work remaining, pero kailan ba nilalagay ang direct material? ba diba sabi natin, uh, direct material is added at the beginning of the cooking process. No? So 70% will be uh, completed this period. No? So percent of work remaining. So ibig sabihin, para doon sa ending inventory natin, ilang percent lang yung natapos this period? 30%. No? The other 70% will be completed the following period na. So kasi yun nga yung sabi ko, nag-cut off na naman tayo. So in this case, ang cut-off is January 31. Eh hindi nga natin pwedeng sabihin uh, sa manager sa uh, to, sa top management na oh, guys, wait lang ha. Hindi pa kasi tapos magluto sa manufacturing natin eh. So hindi pa ako makapag as accountant, hindi pa ako makapag-prepare ng uh, financial statement. We need to wait for them to complete their cooking. So hindi naman hindi natin pwedeng sabihin 'yan, no? Of course, that's the Uh, that's the intention of having cut off. You know? So we have to account whatever is done and complete uh, at the time of, of cut off. No? Uh, otherwise, it's never ending. Kasi nga, luto lang ng luto yan. Eh. Yan yung nature ng uh, business natin. Eh. Okay, sige. Pag-usapan natin ngayon yung direct materials. So sabi natin direct materials, uh, 100% complete. Kasi nga naman, lahat naman talaga ng uh, direct direct material is added at the beginning of the process. no? So in cooking department, all the direct materials are added at the beginning of the cooking process. So meaning, kung pag-uusapan lang natin is direct material, it's 100% um, included in your cost. No? Kasi tignan mo ha, Uh, magluluto ka daw ng patatas. Ang sinasabi lang dito is lahat ng patatas nilalagay na sa simula pa lang ng uh, process mo. So in terms of raw materials, in terms of direct material, um, all of them are added at the beginning of the cooking process. No? So we can say that direct, material, direct materials are 100% accounted for. No? Sige, later i-discuss naman natin ito eh. Pinapa, uh, kita ko lang muna sa inyo yung paano natin yung, yung application lang muna. No? Okay, sige. Let's do uh, problem one. No? So, unahin muna natin is yung requirement number one. Pero bago natin gawin yung requirement number one, prepare natin yung buong statement. No? So, cooking is FIFO. Class, ang palagi kong tip dito is uh, isulat palagi yung uh, eto eto na eto na kasi pinaka template natin diyan tapos yan na palagi magiging template natin nagbabago lang yan kung papansin mo doon sa ah, kita mo to beginning whip uh, add started in production total goods to account for no and yan din naman yung kay uh, weighted average no so wala nagbago diyan so beginning whip add transferred in then total goods to account for. So parehas lang siya, total goods to account for. No? 
Now here, so we have beginning VIP, transferred in and finished. Oh, yeah, na. Yan na, yung, yan na yung change, no? So in FIFO, it started and finished. And then transferred out to next department. Of course, here, it's completed. Kasi nga, ito na yung final department, no? Sige. Isa-isa yun natin, ha? Um, Unahin mo natin si cooking. Cooking daw. Sabi, uh, cooking department accounts for its production using FIFO method. Okay? So in FIFO method, ano ba yung mga kailangan nating tandaan? So like I said, uh, in solving for uh, process costing problems like this one, I suggest you to uh, write down this template. No? So meaning ito. Ito na kasi talaga yan. Uh, Uh, pag sinulat mo to palagi, the more uh, you get familiar with it, mas madali na sa iyo yung pag-compute no nung pinaka-practice mo kasi ito eh no. So sige, pag-usapan natin yung cooking. So like for example, ito na yung template natin no. So all we have to do is fill it out no. So una, beginning week. Beginning work in process. So cooking department, how many units? Ito class ha? in units to ha. So sabi dyan, beginning work in process is 60,000 units. Okay? So wala pa tayong ina-analyze given yan. No? Add, started in production, it's 150,000 units. So again, given pa rin. So you add the two, that's a total goods to account for. Okay. Now, baba naman tayo. Kasi template nga to, So, we just have to fill out. no. Una, beginning work in process. Again, 60,000. And that's given. In fact, nandun din yun sa taas. No? Started and finished. Paano natin makakocompute yan? Started and finished. Sige, pag-usapan natin yan later on. Ha? Now, yung, yung total ng dalawa, ang nakalagay is transferred out to next department. Okay? Transferred out to next department. That's 180,000. Pero class, ang, ang kailangan lang natin tandaan dito, itong total goods to account for sa itaas should equal to the total goods as accounted for dito sa baba. So, parang meron ka na agad kailangan, um, uh, meron ka na agad pattern, ano? So, 210,000, 210,000 sa taas kailangan yun din yung total goods as accounted for mo sa baba. So meron ka dapat checking, dapat yan equal. No? So ngayon, kung 210,000 to, paano natin ngayon makocompute tong uh, work in process end? Kasi kung mapapansin mo dito, yung work in process end dito is unknown. No? Of course, dahil nga meron ka ng transferred out to next department, alam mo yan, ito yan, yung completed in production. O, oh, di ba? Sige, imagine mo ulit. Ha? Kung kumpleto na sa production sa cooking department, of course, yan yung tinatransfer mo papunta dun sa kabilang department. So, dito pa lang nakalagay, transferred out to next department. No? So, therefore, ito pala yung... Oops. Ito yung tinatransfer mo sa susunod na department. So that's your completed in production, 180,000. No? So again, kung meron kang alam mo na itong 180,000 being the completed in production, meron ka ng way to calculate the work in process ending. Kasi nga, pansin mo rito, work in process January 31 is unknown. So if the total goods as accounted for is 210,000, tapos ang transferred out to the next department is 180. So therefore, your work in process ending is 30,000. So kung paano sinolve yun, work back ka lang. No? So 210 less 180. Kasi pag sinam mo itong dalawa, should be 210. No? So ngayon, uh, meron ka na way to calculate the started and finish. ba? Diba? Started and finish. Oops, pangat lang ano. Highlight ko lang siya. Started and finished, 120,000. Paano mo makocompute yun? 
So meron ka ng 180,000 and meron kang beginning inventory. So deduct mo lang yung dalawa. That's 120,000. So you have to work back no. So class wala pa tayong ginagawa. Kinumpleto pa lang natin tong template. Okay? Sige. So that's step one. no. Step one is to uh, complete the template. Well, actually, step one is to write down the, temp the template first. no. So that's one. Step two is fill, fill out the... Uh, parang fill... Ano lang to, parang may pattern ka na. So fill, fill in the missing items. no. So parang fill in the blanks lang to. So fill in the blanks coming from the problem. No? So meron ka... Begin ulitin natin. Beginning work in process, 60... I'd started in production of 150. You get the total. That's total goods to account for. Sabi ko, tong total goods to account for dito should be equal to the total goods as accounted for dun sa baba. No? So that's 210. Kaya nga meron tayo dyan checking. Dapat same siya. No? Now, kung meron ka na dito total goods as accounted for, fill out na naman natin yung mga iba pang items. So meron ka beginning work in process inventory, 60,000. Started and finished, kung hindi given sa problem, you have uh, to work back. Kasi meron ka naman transferred out to next department, which is in fact completed in production. So that's 180,000 units. And uh, uh, work in process end, again, uh, it's unknown, but you have to just work back no, to calculate 30,000. No? So, sige. Now, punta na tayo dun sa... Uh, uh, step 2. Yun sa EUP as to conversion cost and EUP as to the direct material. Okay. Sige. Oops. Ang ginawa ko. Share screen. Okay. Sige. Ito munang conversion cost. Yung conversion cost, sabi kasi natin, class, uh, ito yung direct labor and other manufacturing cost. No? Kasi ang dalawang pinag-uusapan natin, isang direct material, tapos isang CC, or simply conversion cost. No? And as you know, direct material plus CC, that's your total manufacturing cost. No? Kasi nga, ang CC is just your uh, direct labor plus uh, the um, manufacturing overhead. No? So, wag papalito. Uh, una natin pag-usapan is yung uh, conversion cost. O, sige. Sabi, sa beginning inventory, o imagine mo, ha, beginning inventory, ang sabi dito, 40% completed na. So, ilang percent na lang yung tatrabawin natin this period? 60%. No? So, yun lang yun. So, 60,000 uh, multiplied by 60%. So, that's 36,000. So, yan lang muna tayo. Ha? Next, pag-usapan natin yung direct material. O class, sa direct material, ilang percent yung uh, kailangan natin i-account this period. Remember, ang direct material, direct materials are already included at the beginning of the process. No? So while meron tayong beginning inventory, lahat ng patatas involved are already, were already included at the beginning of the process kasi nga otherwise wala tayong lulutuin. No? So itong uh, work in process inventory na to na sinasabing 40% completed, eh yan yung hindi lang natapos sa pagluluto. Pero in, well in fact, all the materials, all the patatas were already uh, included. No? Kasi nga naman, sabi di ba, uh, materials are added at the beginning of the cooking process. So therefore, as to the beginning work in process, wala na tayong i-account na materials. Kaya zero yan. Kasi nga, na-account na yan last time. So, last month, yung beginning work in process, di ba? Bago pa may ma-process, lahat ng materials nilagay na. No? So, yun lang yun. No? Ngayon, pag-usapan natin tong started and finished. Oh. 
imagine mo na lang, ano? nakita mo na agad dun sa description, sinimulan at tinapos. So therefore, hindi mo nang kailangan pag-isipan yan, automatic 100% na yan. So it's 100% as to the conversion cost, kaya naging 120,000 yan, and it's 100% as to direct materials, kaya nga 120,000 din yan. O, ulitin ko ha, pansinin mo yung description, sinimulan at tinapos. No? Siyempre, uh, by the, I mean, by just reading it, uh, the description, it will tell you na uh, sinimulan at tinapos. So therefore, it's 100% completed this period. No? So that's why 100% yan. No? So I hope nakakasunod. No? Uh, ngayon, pag-usapan natin tong work in process ending. Ha? Unahin natin siguro tong uh, materials. Oh, imagine mo work in process ending ha. Ang tanong, kailan na ilagay yung materials? Yung materials sabi natin, they are being added at the beginning of the process. So therefore, lahat ng materials ulit ay eh, pasok na. Ha? Kaya 100% 'yan. Ang ina-account natin dito is yung percentage of uh, uh, completion this period. Ha? So, kaya 100% yan kasi nga sabi natin, uh, lahat ng pinoprocess natin, eh, yung materials are being added at the uh, beginning of the process, of the cooking process. So, that's why 30,000 yan. Okay. O sige, baka naman saan nakukuha yung 30,000? Ayun, 30,000 multiply by 100%. I-calculator mo. Just to check kung tama. No? So, joke lang. Okay. Uh, now, pag-usapan natin yung conversion cost. Sabi dito, class, work in process January 31, percent of work remaining. Sabi 70%. No? So, therefore, ilang percent pa yung hindi natatapos? So, that's... 30%, no? Kaya 30% yung nilagay natin dyan. So, 30,000 multiplied by 30%, so that's 9,000. So, i-add mo lahat, so that's 165,000 for uh, uh, conversion cost, and then it's 150,000 for the direct material. Now, the next step would be yung costing na, no? So, how much is the current cost for conversion cost it's 841,500 given naman yan class and 630,000 for direct materials ayun yan class ha? so wala pa wala pa tayong naalala sa costing kinuha ko lang yung 841,000 doon ayan Okay. And 630,000 for the direct material. Now, paano natin makukumpit yung cost per EUP? Of course, you just have to divide the current cost divided by 165,000. So that's 5. 5.10. divided by 150,000, that's 4.2. Saan ngayon natin kailangan gamitin yan? Of course, class, no? Imagine nakapag-compute na tayo ngayon ng uh, uh, yung unit of production natin, no? So, ang kailangan next step is compute na natin yung costing, no? So, magkano pala yan? So, una, uh, 36,000. Ito na, CC and DM, no? Of course, dito tayo sa total palagi nakatingin. So, uh, CC, conversion cost, Uh, 36,000 multiply by multiply by 5.10 so that's 200,000 Saan galing yung 16,400 na yun? Of course, idadagdag natin yung cost of beginning work in process. So ito na plus 16,400 kasi ito yung current cost, yung cost lang this period na. Next ito, 
uh, that's 200, 120,000 multiplied by 5.10. So that's 612,000. So add mo lang yung dalawa para makuha mo yung 812,000. So work in process end naman. So that's 9,000 multiplied by 5.10. Ayan. So that's 45,900. So meron ka ng total na... Okay, ano? Ah. Uh, dito. Dapat to kunin mo yung total ng dalawa. <laughs> okay. Sige. Dito tayo kay direct material. Direct material, 0 multiplied by 4.2, that's 0 plus cost of beginning direct materials, no? Ayun, cost of beginning work in process of 50,000. So therefore, that's 50,000, no? Next, 120,000 multiplied by 4.20, that's 504,000. Okay na tayo dyan. Add the two, so you get 554,000. Ngayon dito sa work in process ending, so that's 30,000 multiplied by 4.20. You'll get 126,000. Okay, so basically class in total, just get that uh, the sum of the two. No? So 250,000, 612 plus 504, that's 1,116,000. Ayan. 116. And then next, uh, kunin mo lang ulit yung sum na to, 812 plus 554, that's 1,366,000. And then meron ka ng total goods as accounted for na 1,537,900. Ngayon, ano ba yung tanong sa requirement number one? Actually, requirement number one, how much is the cost of inventory transferred out of the cooking? Paano ko ba ito alisin? Transferred out of the cooking department. So that's how much? 1,537,900. Kasi ito yung cost naman na ililipat natin dun sa... Uh, packing department no so tandaan class uh, ang ina-account natin dito is uh, ang ina-account natin dito is yung ita-transfer na natin papunta kay uh, packing packing department so ito pala in class 1,366,000 no the answer is 1,366,000. Kasi nga naman it is ending inventory pa. No? Ipaprocess pa natin yan next period. Okay? So that's FIFO for cooking department. No? So kung napansin mo class, meron talaga tayong dapat sundin na procedure. No? So walang shortcut kasi sa uh, process costing. You actually have to complete everything. No? So to imagine... Uh, to solve for the cost of inventory transferred out of the cooking department, we have to go through. We have to follow all, uh, to complete all this, eh, no? Kasi nga, hindi natin makakompute yun. No? Okay. Sige. Pag-usapan natin ngayon yung packing department, no? Sabi natin, uh, sabi ng problem, packing department uses weighted average method. Sige. Weighted average method. So, ganun pa rin gagawin natin na template. So, beginning work in process, add transferred in from department 1. So, in this case, uh, department 1 is actually your cooking department. Then, total goods as accounted for. Beginning work in process plus transferred in and finished. So, ang makukuha mo is completed. Add work in process ending. Then, total goods as accounted for. O, to class, ha? Uh, ito yung template natin for FIFO. Ito naman yung template natin for weighted average. Ha? So, palagi yan, uh, I suggest uh, be familiar with the template. And, I mean, as you, as you review, no? So you have to write actually write down the template no kasi mas magiging familiar ka diyan no kung sinusulat mo sige isa-isahin natin ngayon um uh, uh, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is packing ha 
So beginning work in process, that's 40,000 in units dito class. Ha? So kinuha lang natin yon. Then nakalagay dito na uh, add transferred in from department 1. Eh, class, yan naman pala. Eh, pwede mo naman makuha yan doon sa unang computation natin. Ayan, no? transferred out to the next department. So, therefore, siya yung papasok na sa'yo. No? So, transferred in. Kaya yan, nakalink siya doon. Transferred in. No? So, you get the sum. So, that's 220,000. O, ngayon, uh, kung meron ka ng 220,000 dyan, eh, di ba, sabi ko, dapat same yan doon sa ilalim no yung sa total goods as accounted for kasi basically class uh, kung ano yung amount na nakuha mo dito eh yun din dapat yung amount na ina-account mo dito sa ilalim kasi ito in total lang and then um, uh, the items below basically these are just the breakdown no sige so beginning work in process 40,000 so saan nakuha yun again ayun given no at packing department nang tinitingnan natin class ha so, wag magpapalit to. No? Next, uh, uh, transferred in and finished. Oh, so, again, wala tayong data dyan. Uh, pero meron tayong data ng uh, work in process end. No? So, therefore, we can work back again. No? So, how much is the work in process end? Ayun, 20,000. So, kung may 20,000 ako dito, Ayan, class ha, given yung work in process and 20,000. Kung meron akong work in process dito na 20,000, uh, at 220,000 yung total goods as accounted for ko, so meron na akong way to compute yung completed. No? So that's 200,000. Kasi 200,000 plus 20,000, that's 220,000. So uh, na, na computer natin yan. No? Of course, kung meron na akong beginning work in process and ngayon meron na akong completed, meron na akong way to compute the transferred in and finish. No? So that's 160,000. But in fact, uh, later on, actually hindi na naman natin kailangan yung transferred in and finish. No? So, so that's step one. Again, in, uh, in weighted average, um, there's kind of uh, uh, I mean, the template is, looks different no, from the FIFO. But like I said, uh, step one is to write down the template first and then fill in the blanks. No? Parang pattern na lang siya. No? Uh, parang puzzle. Pattern. Parang puzzle na lang siya. So you get one element and then you put it in, in, in the template. No? Parang ganito. Uh, work in process. No? Kasi nga, sinulat mo siya, kailangan mo lang i-fill out. No? So work in process. Uh, so you get 40,000 from the problem. And then uh, transferred in from department one as since this is department two, so you have to go back to the uh, 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 to the template no that we did for cooking department. No? So ayun, transferred out to next department is hundred eighty thousand. So kung anin transferred out ng department one, yun yung transferred in naman ng ng sa subsequent department. So in this case, ng packing department. So, wag magpapalito dyan, class. At ang palagi ko talaga, talagang tip is you follow the, the procedure no, in process costing. Isa pang tip, class, um, please make sure na maayos yung pagsusulat mo. Kasi nga, tig, imagine, no, uh, kung hindi malinaw yung pagkakasulat mo dito, eh, yun pala, nakalink siya dun sa susunod na department. No? Uh, kung hindi maayos yung pagkaka sulat mo ng 180,000 dito, then you'll have a problem here. Kasi nga, hindi mo to, I mean, you have to redo it. No? Kaya palagi, practice, practice yourself no? uh, in, in preparing your review notes in, in good form. No? Kasi ang pinakamasakit dyan is sarili mong sulat eh hindi mo maintindihan. No? And yun yung pinakaayaw natin mangyari. Okay, so that's step one. Actually, that's steps one and two. So write down the template. Parang puzzle, fill, fill in the blank. So that's step two. Punta ngayon tayo dun sa step three. Dahil class, this is department two. Of course, we have now to account yung transferred in. Na? Okay. And then, sulat mo ulit, uh, EUPS to CC, and then EUPS to 
direct material. Sige, pag-usapan muna natin isa-isa. Tandaan dito, class, ha? Ang pansinin mo, sa weighted average, we're actually dealing with completed and work in process end lang. Unlike dun sa una, uh, in-account in natin lahat, no? So, this time, dito lang tayo sa completed and work in process. Okay? O, sige. Um, ano bang given dito? Class dito sa transferred in, parang given na palagi siya na 100% na siya palagi, no? Kasi nga, transferred in na siya eh, no? So, as to uh, percentage, it's 100%. No? Ngayon, pag-usapan natin tong EUP as to CC. As to conversion cost. Okay, sige. Uh -huh. Okay, sige. So that's 200,000 multiplied by 100%. Paano naging 100% to, class? Sige nga. Kasi ang direct material, alam natin na uh, beginning of the process pa lang, eh dapat uh, natatapos na. Actually, class, ang kailangan mo nang tignan dito is ito. Kasi nga, dahil sinabing completed, aba, Palagi yan, 100%. No? So, wala na pala tayong kailangan i-analyze dito. Unlike dito sa kanina, no? in-analyze natin isa-isa. So again, dahil nga completed na siya, it's 100% already. No? Ngayon, pag-usapan natin yung work in process ending. So again, as to direct material, dahil nga materials are added at the beginning of the cooking process, so therefore, it's 100% completed already. Tama ba? Dahil nga simula pa lang ng process, nilagay na siya. Eh, no? So, therefore, pag-transfer sa atin, sa packing department, it's, it is as well 100% completed. No? So, huwag magpapalito dyan, class. Ha? Medyo tricky. Pero, uh, I hope you can follow. So, that's 20,000 multiplied by 100%. So, that's 20,000. Next is yung... Uh, Conversion cost. So sa conversion cost, ang sinasabi natin dito is sa ending, ha, work in process ending, it's 30% remainder, remaining work. no? So kung 30% remaining work, percent of work remaining is 30%. So ang, therefore, ang tapos na dyan is 70%. No? So that's 70%. So, 20,000 multiplied by 70%, so that's 14,000. Oh, ngayon, pansinin mo, ang, kung kanina current cost lang ang ina-account natin dito is beginning work in process cost plus current cost. No? So, isa pang tatandaan yan pag weighted average. So, paano pala yan? So, that's um, 834,000 plus 1,366,000. So, saan galing yung 1,366,000? Actually, class, that's the um, transferred out to the next department. No? So, kasi yung pinag-uusapan natin dito is transferred in. So, we have to add um, 834,000. Ayun, yung transferred in. Plus, yung cost from the uh, cooking department, which is 1,366,000. No? So, I hope nakakasunod pa. Next, kunin natin yung uh, conversion cost naman. So, that's 513,600, ayun, plus the current cost of 770,400. Okay. And finally, sa direct material, so, that's 380,000 plus 500,000. So, ang kaibahan class pag weighted average method, instead of just getting the current cost, you also need to get the cost of beginning work in process. So, this, ito, itong mga items na pa. No? Okay? So, ngayon, meron na tayong, uh, meron na tayong 
EUP. So, kunin natin yung cost per EUP. So, again, 2,200,000 divided by 220,000. So, that's 10. And then, 1,284,000 divided by 214,000. So, that's 6. 880 divided by 220,000. So, that's 4. Okay. So now let's account for, so that's step three. Step four is we're, we now account for the uh, uh, costing. No? So 200,000 200, multiplied by 10, so that's 2 million. 20,000 multiplied by 10, so that's 200,000. Conversion costs. So that's 200,000 multiplied by 6. Tama ba yan? Oh, yan. That's 1,200,000. 14,000 multiplied by 6. So that's 84,000. Ito naman, sum lang naman to yan. So next, uh, 200,000 multiplied by 4. So that's 800,000. 20,000 multiplied by 4. That's 80,000. So get the sum. So we have uh, 4 million. I think para to sa completed na portion. And sa work in process ending is 364,000. Okay. I think we're now ready to uh, answer the all the questions. No? Sige. Lagay ko lang siya dito para at least makita natin yung solution along with the problem. Number one, how much is the cost of inventory transferred out? Cost of inventory transferred out of the cooking department. So again, answer is 136,000. And transferred out to the next department. Huh? Number two, how much is the cost of goods manufactured? So of course, ito ngayon yan, yung completed. Huh? So that's 4 million pesos. Next, how much is the cost of the working process remaining in the cooking department and packing department? So, tinatanong dito is ending, no? Ending work in process. So, of course, dito, ayun, yun lang tignan mo, work in process. And then, ito yung costing. So, that's 171900 for cooking department. And then, for uh, packing department, it's 364000 And that's problem number one. So again, class, ha, ang, uh, ang kalaban natin sa process costing is yung analysis no, ng percentage completion. No? Kaya nga palagi kong sinasabi sa inyo, uh, wag i-memorize. Instead, i-analyze natin yung flow of activity. O parang ganito, kaya nga binigyan ko kayo dito ng mga bar. Uh, Di ba, uh, pag pinag-uusapan natin beginning inventory at saka yung direct material, eh di ba ang sabi, ang direct material is already uh, added at the beginning of the cooking process. So therefore, kung ang costing ang pag-uusapan, it's already added. It's all, it's 100% completed, no? As to direct material, no? Kaya kung napapansin mo, yun yung magiging, uh, magiging challenge talaga dito sa pag-solve ng process costing. Pero ang, ang, ang advice ko palagi and suggestion is to do it step by step. No? So step number one, write down the template. So kung, kung FIFO yan, sulat mo to. Step number two, eh, ilagay mo yung... Uh, Fill in the blank, parang puzzle. No? So, kompletuhin mo to based dun sa uh, given ng problem. Kasi wala ka pang i-analyze dito. Eh. Talagang puzzle lang siya. Kasi tingnan mo, meron kang beginning work in process. Meron ka started in production. O sinulat mo lang siya. in mo yung dalawa, 210. E di ba usapan natin kung magkano dito, e eh, yan din yung lalabas dito sa ilalim. So, meron ka nang isusulat dun sa ibaba na 210. No? And then you have to... Uh, complete this puzzle again. No? So beginning work and process, given. 
eh, started in production. So, hindi na, started and finished. Eh, hindi na natin alam to. Pero, alam natin yung working, uh, alam natin yung transferred out, no? yung completed in production, 180,000. So, therefore, we have our way to compute no? for the other elements. Kaya nga sabi ko puzzle, parang puzzle lang yan. So, that's step number two. Step number three, ito na, yung sa uh, unit of production. No? Uh, of course, uh, dito, medyo mag-analyze ka na. Pero like I said, ang pinaka-guide mo dito is itong pinang ginawa nating bar. Parang i-analyze mo lang, kailan ba siya pumasok? So, kung yung material pumasok daw at the, end, at the beginning, eh, paano pag uh, at the middle? No? Paano kung middle of the production? So later on, meron tayong problem na ganyan. No? Okay, so that's problem number one on process costing. Kung, kung napansin mo, uh, kinapture na natin uh, uh, the two methods, no? FIFO and average method. Now, in problem number two, pag-usapan natin paano naman kung may losses. No? So paano yung losses? So syempre, uh, Imagine mo lang yung potato chips natin. Syempre ayaw natin na sobrang durog-durog or alam mo yung 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 shape niya no, kung hindi perfect yung shape, nire-reject na pala natin 'yon no. So kailan siya uh, kina-classify as period cost and kailan siya nagiging uh, kina-capitalize as inventory. So meaning ina-absorb yung loss as part of inventory cost no. So meron tayong rules diyan class. Number one, Uh, if it's normal loss, meaning kung within your expectation, so sabi natin, um, in, in processing piatos, in-expect daw natin na 5% of the, total, of the total inventory will be uh, charged to uh, normal loss. So parang sinasabi natin na out of 100,000, eh, uh, 5,000 yan, eh, reject. Parang ganun, no? So, If it's normal or within your expectation, within your allow allowable or allowance for losses, then that will form part of your inventory cost. Now, paano kung beyond the threshold na siya? So, ibig sabihin lumagpas na siya sa threshold. So, that's the time you have to account for it as period cost. E ano nga ba yung ulit yung period cost? Di ba sabi natin, pag period cost, these are costs that you expense outright. So meaning, instead of putting it as inventory, you have to report is report that as an expense. No? So you have to include it in your uh, income statement. No? Pero uh, para mas ma-appreciate yung concept, let's have problem number two. So problem number two, this is process costing using FIFO with loss. So what are the requirements? Number one, how much is the cost of goods transferred out? Number two, how much is treated as period cost? So yan na, parang dito pa lang sinasabi na na meron tayong normal and at the same time abnormal losses. Number three, how much is the cost of ending work in process? No, parang madali na tong pinag-uusapan natin. So, na, let me read the problem. Cloy Company. Inisip ko na itong Cloy. It's crash landing on you. So, crash landing on you company uses process costing under the FIFO assumption to account for its manufacturing operations. A quarter of the total materials are added at the start of the process while the remaining three quarters are at the end. Oh, so, ganito yan, class. So, yung potato natin kanina, kung la, yung potato natin kanina nilalagay sa simula pa lang ng process, eh, ito pala, dito naman sa pinag-uusapan nating problem, quarter is added at the start of the process. And then the other three quarters are added at the end of the process. So, huwag kang paprito, ah. Uh, there are only four quarters naman, eh, no? kaya nga quarter. No? So, uh, for the first one, first uh, one-fourth, uh, is added at the beginning of the process and three-fourths end of the process naman. No? So, later pag-usapan natin yan. Next, goods are inspected at the halfway mark of the process. So, meron ng inspection dito, kaya pala nadedetect na yung mga losses. No? 
any loss that is within 4% of the unit started in, ex- in production is expected. So sabi, uh, if it's just 4% of the units started in production, normal loss yan. No? So anything beyond the threshold is considered as abnormal and therefore will be treated as period cost. The following information were available for the month of July 2021. So you have work and process beginning. So sabi natin 20,000 units and 80% completed. So take note of that. Next work in process ending, 40,000 and 70% completed. Started in production, 150,000 units. Completed in production, 120,000 units. So you have the materials and conversion cost. No? So cost of working process beginning and current cost. No? Sige, pag-usapan natin yung problem number two. Uh, let's go to the Excel file. Sige. Uh, bago siguro natin puntahan yung solution talaga, pag-usapan muna natin yung uh, direct material. So sabi natin ulit ha, Direct materials, one-fourth daw at the beginning of the process and then three-fourths toward the end of the process. So kasi kailangan natin yan pag inanalyze natin yung EUP class. Eh, no? Kaya uh, mas maganda, nilalagay, nilalagay natin yung meron tayo ditong bar para lang at least mas maintindihan natin. Kailan nga ba? Uh, kasi para maintindihan natin yung costing, kailangan natin malaman una kailan ba nilalagay yung co- yung direct material no so ayan na one fourth daw at the beginning and then three fourth towards the end oh so parang ganito lang yan class uh, kung ang i i account mo is beginning inventory uh, beginning inventory ilang percent na doon yung completed as to direct materials. No? So there, uh, ang sagot is one-fourth pa lang kasi beginning inventory pa lang siya. No? Sige, later, mag-usapan natin yun. Next, uh, uh, goods are inspected at the halfway mark. So ayan, na, kaya nilagay ko siya inspection point. Okay, sige. O sige, punta natin tong problem. Paano ko ba to? So, di ba sabi natin, step one, sulat natin to lahat. Tandaan, this is FIFO. So, sulat natin lahat to. Uh, lahat muna to. And then, step number two is puzzle. No? So, isa-isay natin, beginning work in process inventory, 20,000 given. Add started in production, 150,000. So, given. Okay. So kung meron ka nun yan, alam mo na tong total goods to account for mo. At kung alam mo na yung total goods to account for mo, sabi natin dapat tie up yan dun sa ilalim. So total goods as accounted for. So wala lang tayong problema dyan, no? Okay, next. Beginning work in process, 20,000. Ayun, given pa rin. Started and finished. Started and finished. Sem- So, syempre, wala ka pa nito. No? Uh, transferred out, this is equivalent to the completed in production. So, 120,000 units. So, kung meron ka ng 120,000 dito, you can now um, compute for the started and finished. No? So, that's 100,000. So, work back lang yan plus. No? 120 less 20, so that's 100,000. No? Okay, so meron ka ng transferred out na 120,000. Meron ka nga yung uh, work in process na ending of 40,000. O ngayon, pag-usapan natin itong normal losses at saka abnormal loss. Paano, paano natin siya na-determine as normal loss and paano naging abnormal loss? Ilan percent nga class yung expectation? Sabi, if it's within 4% of units started, started in production, it is expected. So therefore, 150,000 multiplied by 4%, so that's 6,000. No? So that's, that's within the expectation and therefore, that's normal loss. E tandaan class, meron ka ditong 120, meron ka dito 6,000. Ilan ba ba yung kulang natin? 166,000. So meron pa tayong 
4,000 na difference to get 170,000. Kaya nga class, importante, no? Na dapat tie up yung 170,000 mo dito at saka yung 170,000 mo sa ilalim. So, initially, meron tayong hinahanap na 10,000 na difference, eh. ba? Diba? So, di ba meron ka ng transferred out, 120. Meron kang ngayong work in process na 40. Eh, 160 pa lang yan. Eh, 170 yung ina-account natin. Tandaan, di ba? So, therefore, dun pa lang, uh, dahil may kulang tayo, mapapaisip ka na ano, saan nang gagaling yung kulang. So, that's where the loss uh, uh, comes in. No? So, ang ina-expect natin, 10,000 na losses. Pero sabi dito, 4% of the started in production is expected loss. So meaning that's normal loss. So how much is that? 6,000. At tandaan, 10,000 yung hinahanap natin. So meron ka ng 6,000. Therefore, the difference of 4,000 will be accounted for as abnormal loss. Huh? Okay, ha? O ngayon, uli, ulitin ko palagi class. Ha? Ulitin ko ulit yung... Uh, Rule natin. Sabi natin, if the losses is within the expectation, it's normal loss. Pag normal loss pala, it is capitalized as inventory. So meaning, all the costs for that particular losses will be included as part of your inventory cost. Na? Now, if it's a normal cost, if it's losses, beyond the threshold, the threshold is 4%, eh? it will now be uh, classified as period cost. Sabi natin ulit, pag period cost, yan yung cost na in-expense natin outright. So meaning, we have to include that in our income statement. Okay? O, sige. Dahil tapos na tayo sa uh, steps 1 and 2. So step 1, sinulat natin yung template. Step 2, Eh, nag-puzzle na tayo, nilagay natin lahat ng mga pertinent data based on the problem, punta na lang natin yung step 3. Step 3 is uh, yung sa EUP na natin no? as to conversion costs and um, uh, as to direct material. EUP nga pala, class, I'm not sure if uh, I was able to mention it to you. No? That's equivalent unit of production. No? I'm sure alam nyo na yan. O, sige, pag-usapan natin ngayon tong Uh, EUP as to conversion cost. Oh, sige, work in process muna tayo. Sabi ng problem, yung work in process is 80% complete. Kung 80% complete na daw yan, ilang percent na lang yung kailangan matapos this period? So the answer is 20%. Kaya nalalagay natin dyan 20%. Ay, pangit. Ayan. Okay. So, 20,000 multiplied by 20, that's 4,000. Okay. Next, started and finished. O, again, class, ha? Para hindi ka na mag-a-analyze dahil nakalagay naman na started na tapos and finish pa so therefore it's 100% na so 100,000 multiply 100,000 multiply by 100% so that's 100,000 okay kana diyan okay next dito sa normal loss normal loss sabi kasi bakit 50% diyan Bakit kaya 50% yan? No? O, sige, pag-usapan natin to. Sabi, goods are inspected at the halfway mark of the process. So parang ganito yan, class. Uh, parang, uh, kailan ka ba mag inspect uh, Okay. So, ang sinasabi ng problem, goods are inspected at the halfway mark of the process. So, halfway is 50%. So, therefore, etong losses na to is already 50% complete. No? 
So tapos na siya ng 50%, no? So kasi hindi naman na, 'di ba, mag-inspect ka ba towards the end? Yung bang loss na 'yon eh itutuloy mo pa, 'di ba? So the problem said na the goods are inspected at the halfway mark. So ito, ito daw yung inspection point, no? So therefore, etong first 50% is already completed. So that's why 50% yan. Okay? So 6,000 multiplied by 50%, so that's 3,000. 4,000 multiplied by 50%, so that's 2,000. Okay? Ngayon, pag-usapan natin yung work in process ending. Sabi sa work in process ending, it's 70% complete. So that's why 70% to, no? Okay, 40,000 multiplied by 70%, so that's 28,000. So add mo lang lahat, that's 137,000. No? Bago natin puntaan tong current cost sa ilalim, pag-usapan muna natin si direct material naman. Okay? So direct material, as to the beginning work in process. Ito ha, uh, ilang percent yung kailangan natin i-account this period. O, so tandaan, work in process, sabi, One fourth daw is already uh, added at the start of the process. Eh, kailan ba nila ina-add yung three fourth towards the end of the process? So therefore, in percentage terms, this is twenty five percent, and then the three fourth is seventy five percent, na. Ato naman kapisado niya nyan kung paano kaya nung piyatian, no? O sa paano daw kaya nung piyatian? Three over four, so that's seventy five percent, no? So seventy five percent, that's as to uh, work in process beginning, no? So twenty thousand multiplied by seventy five percent, so that's fifteen thousand. Next, again started and finish. Ato agad sulat mo na hundred percent, no? Kasi niya started and finish. Wag natin, I mean. Uh, Huwag mo na i-complicate yan dahil nakalagay naman started and finished and therefore it's 100% completed. Okay, pag-usapan ngayon natin tong normal and abnormal loss. Oh, sige, sabi di ba, uh, ang as to direct material, ang no, ang as to direct material, ang nilalagay sa umpisa ng production is only 25%. No? So kung yun yung nilagay sa production at natapos na yung at ang inspection point is at 50%, itutuloy mo pa ba? I mean, 'di ba? Uh, 20 sabi, 25% of the materials are added at the beginning of the process. Eh meron kang inspection point at 50%. Ang tanong, malalagay pa ba yung remaining materials? Eh sabi, 'di ba? The remaining materials will be added towards the end of the process. So kung may, dito pa lang sa 50% and eh, na-reject ka na, so there's no way na maidadagdag pa yung materials pagdating ng ending. Kasi hindi na yung mga na, yung mga uh, na, na reject na eh hindi na matatapos yung process. So therefore, hindi na maiaad yung materials. So as to completion, it's only 25% completed. Paano ulit nakuha yung 25%? So that's one fourth. Kasi nga that's one quarter. And one quarter is twenty-five percent, no? So wag magkapalito jan class, ha? Six thousand multiplied by twenty-five percent, so that's one thousand five hundred. Four thousand multiplied by one thousand, so that's twenty. That's four thousand multiplied by twenty-five percent, so that's one thousand. Okay. Pag-usapan ngayon natin tong work in process ending. Work in process ending hindi pa natatapos, ha? Kailan nga ulit na idinadagdag yung uh, three-fourth ng materials towards the end of the process? Pero kung ito ay pinag-uusapan natin is work in process ending inventory. So, hindi pa natapos. So, ibig sabihin, ang natapos pa lang is what? Yung 25%. No? So, materials kasi itong pinag-uusapan natin. Kailan lang idadagdag nga ulit yung three-fourth towards the end of the process? So therefore, as to completion this period, it's only what twenty five percent completed. Okay, so forty thousand multiplied by twenty five percent, so that's ten thousand. 
So, kunin natin yung sum. That's 137,000 for conversion cost and 127,000 for direct material. Okay, so dito tayo sa portion ng current cost. Of course, current cost is given 1,520,700. And then, uh, it's 994,500 for direct material. So, given pa rin naman yan. So, let's now compute for the cost per EUP. So, 1,520,700 divide, divide it by uh, 137,000. So, that's 11.10. 994,500 divided by uh, 127,500. So, 7.8. Oh, so, kung meron na tayo niyan, ready na tayong uh, pumunta dun sa step number 4, which is yung costing na. Okay? So, kung costing na, uh, pag-usapan ngayon natin isa-isa to. Uh, of course, ito kanina, di ba? May ina talaga tayo dito. So, uh, 4,000 multiplied by 11.10 plus that 18,600. As this is conversion cost pala. So, 30,000. No? So, that's 74,400. Next, um, it's 15,000 multiplied by 7.8 plus 18,600. No? So, that's the, for the right material. So, add the two, that's 210,000. <clears> okay, next. Uh, ito naman is... Uh, Started and finished, no? So, 100,000 multiplied by 11.10. So, that's 1,110,000. And then, uh, this one is 100,000 multiplied by 7.8. So, that's 780,000. You add the two, that's 1,890,000. So, get the sum ulit para makuha mo itong 1,184,000 and then 915,600. And then here, 2,100,000. Okay? Sige. Dito tayo ngayon sa normal loss. 3,000 multiplied by 11.10. So that's 33,300. 11,700 naman. 1,500 multiplied by 7.8. So total is 45,000. Okay? So tuloy lang natin yung process muna. Uh, 2,000 multiplied by 11.10, 11 so that's 22,200. 1,000 multiplied by 7.8, so that's 7,800. Tuloy ulit natin, so that's 28,000 multiplied by 11.10, 310,800. 78,000, so that's 10,000 multiplied by 7.8, so 78,000. So get the sum. So, that's 388,800. So, kunin lang natin yung uh, sum ng lahat. Actually, mali na naman ito eh. Should be... Uh, oops. Ayan. Okay. Ngayon, class, paano natin... I-account yung, kasi tandaan na, di ba, itong abnormal loss, ang sabi natin, this will be uh, recorded as period cost. No? Pero yung normal loss, this will be uh, capitalized no? as inventory cost. So meaning, part siya ng inventory, inventory mo. No? So pero kailangan natin itong i-allocate no? that 45,000. Kasi hindi naman natin pwede ilagay lang lahat siya sa uh, work in process end or dun sa star, uh, started and finished. So, so therefore, we have to allocate. Pero paano ngayon yung allocation? Uh, of course, uh, we allocate it based on EUP. Okay? So yung direct material, para lang makuha muna natin yung uh, uh, yung allocation. No? So 11,700 kasi for direct material. Ayan yung class. And then, 33,300 for con conversion cost. Ito naman siya. So, gawan lang natin siya ng allocation process. Pero paano nga yun? Ulit, ang, ang basis natin is the 
yung na solve natin na EUP. So we will allocate it between started and finished and at the same time sa work in process ending. Na? So 100,000, saan galing yan? Ayun, yung 100,000. And then 10,000 is ito naman. Na? So kinuha lang natin yun para lang may ma-allocate tayo. And then dun sa conversion cost, so that's 100,000 and 28,000. So ngayon, ready na tayo mag-allocate. Paano nga yung allocation? So, so ipoprorate ano mo lang. No? So prorata. So kung meron ka 11,700 yung gusto mong i-allocate, di ba? Eh, kailangan natin makompute muna magkano yung total niyan. No? So uh, 100,000 divided by 110,000 para makompute mo yung allocation papunta dun sa started and finish so that's 10636.36 ngayon dun sa work in process end naman so that's 1063.64 so total of 11700 <clears throat> okay next kay con conversion cost naman tandaan ang ina ang kailangan nating allocate is 33300 we need to allocate that between started and finish and work in uh, process inventory ending. Na? So that's um, 26,015.634 uh, started and finished. And then for ending, that's 7,284.38. Uh, so ngayon, ready na tayo mag-allocate. Paano nakuha yung 36,000? in na lang natin yung dalawa. Na? So 10,636.36 for direct material plus yung share naman ng conversion cost. No? So that's 36,052. Ito namang 8,348. So that's 1,063.64 plus 7,284.38. No? So again, kinuha lang natin yung uh, total nung dalawa no? para ma-allocate natin yung, lo yung normal loss. Okay. So ngayon, kompleto na ulit yung... Uh, yung calculation natin. No? So, meron na tayong allocation for uh, normal loss. And we're now ready to answer the uh, requirements. Pagay ko dito para at least mas madali tayo. No? How much is the cost of goods transferred out? So again, tingnan mo yung transferred out. So that's 2,136,652. Uh, okay. Plus, it's it's important na tama yung allocation mo kasi it will impact what? The transferred out. No? So imagine kung ito lang yung meron ka, hindi mo nilagay yung allocation ng normal loss, eh may magiging problem dun sa uh, solution mo for the total. No? Especially kung merong loss involved. No? Number two, how much is treated as period cost? Period cost. So, tingnan natin yung abnormal loss. Abnormal loss is 30,000. So, the answer is 30,000. How much is the cost of ending work in process? So, the answer is 397,148. Again, class, uh, magkakaroon ka ng error dito if you were not able to properly allocate your normal loss. Okay? So that's uh, problem number two. Okay? Sige. Siguro para mas uh, maintindihan pa yung uh, uh, problem with loss Tignan naman natin yung problem number three. Problem number three actually is this, it's the same. It's just that uh, we're going to use weighted average. No? Para at least, di ba, kanina uh, inintroduce natin yung FIFO and weighted average using a problem. No? Inapply natin siya. But this time, paano kung may loss naman? No? So, natapos natin yung uh, problem ng FIFO with loss. Pag-usapan ngayon natin yung weighted average with loss. No? So please stay with me. No? Medyo uh, lengthy yung uh, discussion natin. But don't, don't worry. No? We'll, um, I mean, we'll send you the recording. No? So at least you can revisit it uh, at your own time. No? IONTPO company. Alam ko ano rin ito eh. Q 
okay drama din yan eh, no? It's okay not to be okay. Let's see. Requirements. How much should be expensed outright? So yan pa lang. Uh, pag sinabing expense outright, di ba? Uh, that's abnormal loss. And the number two, how much is the cost of ending work in process? Okay. So let me read the problem. Uh, IONTBO company uses the weighted average method of process costing to account for its operations. It adds direct materials at the beginning of the process. Any loss less than 10% of the unit started is within tolerance level. So meaning this is normal loss, no? If it's less than 10%. Data for the current month are as follows. So meron kang beginning work in process, sabi 45% complete, 36,000 units. Units started in the month, 120,000 units. Units transferred to finished goods inventory. Uh, that's 126,000 units. Ending work in process of 15% uh, 15 complete. That's 21,600 units. And then lost units, sabi pa dyan, question mark. Eh. Pero kahit naman hindi question mark yan, di ba? Alam na alam na natin isolve yan using the template. So of course, you have your uh, cost of uh, beginning work in process and current cost for direct materials and conversion costs respectively. No? So let's uh, try to solve exercise problem or exercise number three. Okay. O kung napansin mo, meron na naman tayo ditong bar. Sabi kasi dito, uh, sabi ng problem natin, laki ko siya para mas makita pa ng mas maigi. Sabi ng problem natin, uh, direct materials at the beginning of the process. So it adds direct materials at the beginning of the process. So therefore, kung ina-add na siya beginning pa lang, uh, wala ka nang i-add sa current production mo kasi sim simula pa lang nilalagay na yun. So, sige. Pag-usapan natin yan. Step 1, sulat ko muna yung uh, template. Then step 2, uh, fill in the blanks. Oh, sige. Beginning work in process, 36,000. Fill in the blanks pa lang tayo. Wala pa anal anal analysis. Uh, add started in production. Ayun. Started during the month, 120,000. So total goods accounted for or to account for is 156,000. So again, dahil meron ka ng 156,000 dyan, eh alam mo dapat 156,000 din dito sa ilalim. No? So yun na yung pinaka-check and balance mo. Eh, no? uh, proceed tayo. So meron tayong work in process beginning, 36,000 given. Now, um, meron ka ngayon dito completed. And ang nilagay sa'yo dito, unit transferred to finished goods inventory. So therefore, yan din yung completed mo. No? So that's 126,000. Okay. Ngayon, given by yung work in process end, ayun, 21,600. Sige. O, kung ganyan na yung case, meron kang 126,000 completed, tapos meron kang 21,600. So paano yan? Uh, 126,000 plus 120 plus 21,600, meron ka lang 147,600. Eh, pero sabi natin, dapat daw yan, 156,000. Meron tayo ngayon nawawala na 8,400. Ngayon, yung 8,400 na yan, should it be normal loss or abnormal loss? Basahin muna natin. Sabi, any loss than 10% of the unit started in production is within tolerance level. So, kaya nilagay ko dito, oh, ang normal loss pala is up to 12,000. Actually, sabi, less than. No? So, it should be less than 12,000. So, paano na-compute yun? Started in production, multiply by 10%. So, 12,000. So, therefore, the total loss of 8,400, yung unaccounted pa rin natin, no? will, uh, will be classified as normal loss. So, that's 8,400. Okay? O sige, ulitin ko yun. Baka medyo may nalito sa inyo. Ang sabi kasi ng problem, any loss less than 10% of the unit started in production is within tolerance level. Eh, ilan ba yung started in production natin? 120,000. 
10% of that is 12,000. So sabi ng problem, uh, up to 12,000 or below 12,000, yan daw eh uh, normal loss. So within tolerance, within threshold. So therefore, ang ina-account lang kasi natin, remember class, no? 8,400 lang. So in that case, lahat yan, pasok dun sa threshold nila. Therefore, all, all 8,400 will be classified as normal loss. Okay? So that's steps 1 and 2. Dahil na-compute na natin at nakapag-puzzle uh, na rin tayo, let's go now to step number 2. Yeah, alam natin, ang step number 2 is yung sa EUP na. No? So dito tayo. Again, step number 2, completed. Hindi, ko na, hindi na natin... Uh, uh, ito, papa we're, we're not going to complicate it. Instead, lagay na natin agad 100%. No? Kasi nga naman, completed eh. Para bang hindi mo na pag-iisipan yun. Dahil completed, it's 100%. Okay? Sige. Pag-usapan ngayon natin tong normal loss. Dito muna tayo kay conversion cost. Okay? Sabi kay conversion cost, uh, normal loss is 15%. Pero pag-usapan muna natin bakit 15%. No? Uh, kailan ba nilalagay yung, kailan ba nagkakaroon ng inspection given ba? Parang wala siya ditong, uh, walang nilagay na, walang inspection. Sige. Company uses weighted average costing to account for its operation. It adds material at the beginning of the process. Any loss less than 10% of the unit started in production is within the tolerance level for the current month are as follows. So, meron ka beginning, 45%. Uh, and ito, beginning, 45%. Units, units transferred uh, to finish goods inventory. 100 to ending work in process, 15%. So, yan. Ito class, no? So, isa pang tip. Dahil hindi nilagay yung inspection, kailan usually ba talaga nag inspect Ang susundan mo dyan, class, is yung ending work in process mo. Oh, tandaan, class, ha? Kung hindi given yung, uh, yung work in process, ay, yung inspection point, kasi kanina, di ba, sabi 50% 50, 50 of the mark, doon pala nag-inspect, no? So, kung hindi, hindi given yung uh, inspection point, syempre, parang mag assume ka na. No? So, you have to assume uh, yung percentage of completion. Kasi, imagine, uh, meron ka ngayong work in process. Eh, sabi dito, 15% complete. So, therefore, kung natapos yung process ng work in process mo na by 15%, i-assume na natin na uh, at that point, eh, nagkaroon na ng inspection point. No? So, therefore, eh, di ba kasi nga, ina-allocate natin ng normal loss using um, uh, yung completed and at the same time yung ending work in process natin. No? So in that case, uh, we have to include 15% din dito no? for the normal loss in, in terms of the conversion cost. So 8,400 multiplied by 15%, so that's 1,260. Okay. O, dahil wala namang abnormal loss, skip na natin yan. Punta tayo ngayon sa work in process ending. Ito naman given. You know? So 15% complete. So that's 15%. Uh, 21,600 multiplied by 15%. So that's 3,240. Pag-usapan ngayon natin tong uh, direct material. So again, kung completed na 100%, sabi natin palagi na 100% dahil completed na. Pero paano ngayon itong normal loss? Bakit 100% to? E direct material itong pinag-uusapan natin. Ha? Sabi kasi, it adds direct material at the beginning of the process. So therefore, kung nilalagay na yung material beginning of the process pa lang, so it's already 100% included in the, uh, I mean kahit maging normal loss pa siya, 
yung direct material included in that particular inventory is already 100%. No? So, yun lang naman yung sinasabi natin dyan. Kaya, class, importante na ato maintindihan mo na agad yung sinasabi ng problem no kung kailan dinadagdag yung direct material kasi it's very critical in computing for your EUP no so in this case dahil nga beginning of the process pa lang nilalagay na yung direct material so therefore it's already 100% complete no? so 8400 Pag-usapan natin yung work in process end pero parang makukulitan na kayo sa akin kung uulitin pa natin na ang materials nga ay dinadagdag sa simula ng production. So therefore, uh, if we're going to account for the work in process ending, eh, 100% na rin yan. Kasi nga, beginning of the uh, process pa lang, dinadagdag na yung material. Nilalagay na yung material. Oh, diba? Nakulitan kayo sa akin pero inulit ko pa rin. Okay. So meron na tayong EUP for CC and EUP as to DM. We'll get the sum. So that's 130,500 for, uh, uh, for conversion costs and 156,000 for direct material. Okay. Colorful na ng Excel natin. Of course, ito, class, uh, uh, part pa rin ng template natin to, no? So sabi natin dyan, it's beginning work in process cost plus current cost, no? So therefore, that's uh, 110,820 plus 600,000. Ayun, given naman siya. Next, it's uh, 101,840 plus 400,000. That's for direct material. Okay, so ready na tayo to calculate for the cost per EUP. 710,820 divided by... Uh, 130,500, so that's 5.45. 501,840 divided by 156,000, so that's 3.22. Huh? Okay, so that's step three. Punta step four. Step four is uh, costing. So dito na, lagyan natin ng peso amount yung uh, EUP natin. Okay? So... Uh, CC, CC muna tayo, conversion cost. So that's um, 126,000 multiplied by 5.45. So that's 686,308.97. 1,260 multiplied by 5.45. So that's 686.39. Uh, work in process end, so 3,240 multiplied by 5.45, so that's 17,647.94. So get the sum, so that's 710,820. Puntahan ngayon natin si direct material. Direct material, 126,000 multiplied by 3.22, that's 405,332.31. Yung loss, 8,400 multiplied by 3.22. So that's 27,022.15. Yung work in process ending, so that's 21,600 multiplied by 3.22. So that's 69,485.54. So get the sum, so that's 501,840. Okay, so meron na tayong total, pero like I said, if it's normal loss, it's capitalized as inventory. So therefore, we have to allocate it again no, uh, between the completed and work in process ending. No? So gawa ulit tayo ng uh, allocation. So 126,000, saan galing? Ayun. 21,600, ayun. So, 147,600. Tandaan, ang ina-allocate natin, ina natin dito is 27,022.15. No? So, we get uh, the weight ngayon. No? 126,000 divided by 147,600 multiplied by 27,022.15. So, that's 23,067.69. Yung sa portion naman ng ending, so that's 39,000. 
3,954.46. Yung portion naman ng conversion cost, again, uh, we'll allocate it between completed and work in process ending. So that's 126,000 and 3,240. Actually, this is, these are in unit. No? So this ko yung point. Okay. So, kunin ulit natin ng weight. Uh, para lang mas madali masundan kung saan galing yan. O yan, same sila ng color. So, 6,691.03 and 172.06. No? So, ready na tayo mag-allocate. Yung share ni completed, that's 23,067.69 plus 6,691.03. So, total of uh, 29,758.73. Okay, next, uh, work in process ending naman. So that's 3,954.46 plus 172.06. So for a total of 4,126.52. All right. So get, you get the sum. So that's 1,121,400 and 9 1,260 for uh, the work in process ending. And I think we're ready to answer the requirements. Lagay ko lang dito yung problem para mas mabilis natin masagutan. Okay. So how much should be expense outright? So the answer is zero. Because all the losses here are classified as normal loss. And if it's normal loss, sabi natin, uh, we have to account for it as uh, inventory cost. No? So meaning, part pa rin siya ng inventory. That's why we're allocating it between the completed and work in process ending inventory balances. No? Oh, tandaan na kung bakit zero kasi nga wala tayong abnormal loss. Yun lang naman yan. So no, requirement number two, how much is the cost of ending work in process inventory? So the answer is 91,260. Okay? Okay, so that's problem number three. So process costing using weighted average with loss. And actually that ends our... Uh, discussion on process costing. This has been your instructor, Mark Gibson. Thank you for learning with us. See you in our next discussion. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!